Today, we celebrate our exceedingly talented, hardworking Kandorians as they stand on the brink of a new journey. As we gather to celebrate the achievement of our students, join us as we travel to a new destination. Recollecting our resilient journey through the much challenging 2020-2022. The road of resilience is often fraught with difficulties, but it is infinitely rewarding and leads to happiness and fulfillment. We look forward to an exhilarating evening to acknowledge Kandor's pride. It's determined achievers who managed to push forward throughout these uncertain times. And with that, we welcome you to the graduation ceremony of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request everyone to join their hands together and give a round of applause for our graduates today. I request everyone to be seated. Just like the shining light Kandorians possess, it may come as no surprise that Kandor finds its origins in Latin and stems from the word candir, which means to shine. Our hope is that our graduates bear this torch and continue to spread their rays of confidence and rigor in all aspects of life after school. Resilience is, accepting, resilience is accepting your new reality with grit and determination. With that intention, let us honor a candor tradition and commence with the ceremony of the lighting of the lamp. Now, I would like to invite our chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, director of curriculum, Ms. Madhavi Reddy, director of operations, Mr. Naresh Reddy, Dean of Administration, Mr. Sridhar, our coordinators, Ms. Anjana and Mr. Gaurav, and last but definitely not the least, our principal, Ms. Kavita Sinha, to kindly join us for the lighting of the lamp.
now request everyone to rise for our school song. I request everyone to now be seated. We now have a dance inspired by the Bhagavad Gita. It is an expression of the different principles that illuminate life and its philosophy. Let us witness how the spirit of resilience radiates through their presentation. Joining us today in our roads to resilience is Mukta Manjunath, Dia Santosh, Ruchita Raj, Shreya Prakash, and Swapnika Nalam from grade A, with the invocation dance performed, choreographed by them. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Mukta, Dia, Ruchita, Shreya, and Swapnika for the graceful performance. We would now like to welcome our Honorable Chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, to express his insightful thoughts with our graduates. Good evening to students, parents, and staff. This is our eighth batch of IB students and fifth batch of A-level students are graduating from Kando. It's another milestone at Kando. Congratulations to all class of 2022. This graduation is remembered by all of us because this batch suffered most and the whole world is grappling with the COVID-19 situation. All of us are coming with best ways to adapt to this situation. We will overcome these challenges for sure. This is the world that you are going into. You are the future, the change makers, the innovators, the risk takers and leaders. The school has taught you and prepared you for the life beyond the school. It is now you who will have to take these skills and attributes and use them to navigate your future. Focus on yourself to adapt, to change, and overcome challenges. Develop good values and good practices and strong mind. Be strong for yourself, stand strong, for your family, friends, and stand right all the time. There are always choices in life, even though at times you feel like you have been given no choice at all. You have to choose between doing or not doing, to listen or not to, and live with the results of our choices. Your choices have gotten you here. Now your choices will take you further under the path of your career and life. Some choices will be easy to make and some tough, but ultimately you will be the one affected your choices. Not your parents, not your friends. They'll make you to person you are and the person you'll become. So choose wisely. You all are at cusp of adulthood and your high school degree is the first step of your achievements. You will go on to further achievements in your path to a career which will lead you to success in life. Success have different meanings at different times of life and to different people. For now, success is achieving your high school certificate with good grades and getting into good colleges. Success for me is my students from Canada growing and developing and moving on to above bigger goals. You cannot be prepared for your life, but making right choices, defining your success and practicing values helps you in preparing for life. It is an, uh, indeed an achievement for an 18 years old. And once again, congratulate all our 2022 batch. I congratulate all my entire team who worked hard and really I'm fortunate to have a, such a wonderful team to make this happen. Thank you very much. And big thank you to my coordinators, Mr. Gaurav, Ms. Anjana and my principal, Ms. Kavita, Ms. Madhavi, Mr. Naresh, and Ms. Sridhar, teachers, admin staff, and support staff, and the parents who have been a big support in your journey. Best of luck. God bless you all. Take care of yourself. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. We really appreciate your kind and inspiring words. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank you for being a constant source of support for all students here at Kandor. Our students would not have been able to accomplish such great feats without, the, without their supportive coordinator. We would now like to call upon Ms. Anjana Gupta to address the gathering. It's my pleasure to welcome all the graduates, families, and faculty of the on the graduation day at Candor International School. Every one of you present here has made an impact on the graduates who are sitting here today. And to everyone who is graduating today, it's for you. You can look at yourself in the mirror later tonight and know that you beat the odds that may have been stacked against you whether it be unforgiving past, unfortunate experiences, or even overcoming a pandemic. I was lucky to be a part of a very interesting conversation among some of the students of this batch. They were discussing about their life plans. One wants to be a biochemist, one wants to be a psychologist, one wants to be a lawyer. They were very casually sharing their life plans and saying that if there is any sort of slip up, then the psychologist will counsel, and if things go north, the lawyer will bail them out. The biochemist had a very satisfied smile on his face. That's grade 12 for all of you. What, an apparent, what was apparent to me from this amusing discussion was the immense support and love you have for each other. The spark in your eyes, seemed brighter than ever when you shared your future plans. What an incredible group of people you are, particularly as you have succeeded against the backdrop of the pandemic. I have to tell you that, that I am humbled, massively proud, delighted, and most of all, I consider myself extremely blessed to have been part of your journey. Let us be absolutely no doubt, more than ever, that the world needs a better, safer, and more sustainable environment as global citizens, surely. As a minimum, we can expect that from you, right? Before I conclude, I would like to pause and take a moment to thank our senior management team and all my colleagues for their continued support who gave their time voluntarily to help our students every time there was a lead. Please give yourself a round of applause. And my dear students, I wish you love, luck, and peace always. As a note of advice, please don't forget to thank your families for the valued support and sacrifices which were an integral part of your studies. And make them even more proud of you as you go forward in this journey of life. Once again, congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Ms. Anjana, for your reflective words of encouragement. The wait is over for our audience. It is time to award the resilience and perseverance of the Cambridge A-level students with their graduation certificates. The certificate comes with a personalized message and lots of love from their teachers. We would now like to call upon Ms. Meethu to read out the personalized messages for the graduating batch of A-level students. We also request Dr. Suresh Reddy, our chairman, and Ms. Kavita Sinha, our principal, to come up to the stage to distribute the certificates.
On behalf of us teachers, I take immense pleasure in sharing with you these thoughtful words, warm wishes, and some invaluable messages that we have written for you. We believe that these messages will stay with you and continue to guide you as you walk the road to resilience. To begin with this ceremony, we have our first graduating student from A-level to receive the certificate. Please welcome Sakshi Sashi Suvarna. And Sakshi, this is my message for you. Soft-spoken with a charming smile, politeness has always been your signature style. You are gracious, you are considerate, you are poised. Dream with passion, love life, and be the person you are. Do not be afraid of storms, for you are learning how to sail your ship. Heartiest congratulations on your graduation, dear Sakshi. Wishing you a future that is rewarding, both in your professional and personal life. Next, I welcome Dohini Sharkar. Dohini, I'm very sure Ms. Deepika's words will bring a smile on your face. You have been hardworking and diligent in academics. You are soft-spoken and respectful to everyone in the classroom. One of your best qualities is that you appreciate feedback and implement it. Always remember there is no limit to what you can do if you keep believing in yourself. Congratulations on your graduation, Dohini. I know life has even more wonderful things in store for you. Best wishes for your next adventure. Now, we have Vaishnav Manoj. Dear Vaishnav, this is how both Mr. Vasu and Mr. Shravan want to wish you. Congratulations on your graduation, Vaishnav. You are a very special part of the Kandor family. We hope your efforts and dedication will bring great fulfillment and opportunities in the career you choose. We wish you all the success and the very best for your future. Next in line, we have Anamika R. Sajeev. Anamika, surely these words from Ms. Shagun will continue to inspire you. Anamika, it was a pleasure watching you learn during the last two years. Good things didn't always happen to you, but you have overcome all of that with your determination. You know how to persevere and also how not to give up. Because you are tenacious, you made progress towards the end of the semester and came out stronger. Your ability with words touches me profoundly. You never hesitate and you always speak from your heart. You are genuine because your words come from your experience. Be proud of the individual that you are today. Remember that good things in life happen to the ones who persevere. Do not hesitate to choose, to explore, and to discover all that crosses your path. All the best, Namika. Please put your hands together as I welcome Harini Gautaman. Harini, hear out this encouraging message from Mr. Libin. Congratulations, Harini. Today is your special day. And I'm happy that you have grown in every area of your life, not only in academics, but for your right mindset about your future as well. Your passion and commitment toward learning was an encouraging display for all of us. Keep up the good work always. An important phase of your life will start soon. Stay focused and achieve your dreams and goals that you've set for yourself. Wishing you good luck, Harini. Coming up next is Damini Manjunath. And this beautiful message is from Mr. T.S. Prakash. Damini, you are intelligent and composed student. You are intrinsically motivated to work independently. Heartiest congratulations on your graduation and I wish you all the success in your future endeavors. Applause. 
May I now invite Lasya Paladagu and let us hear what Ms. Shagun wishes for her. Lasya, you are one of those few who treads ahead no matter what challenges there may be. I have seen you grow in candor and the best thing about you is that you are patient with yourself, which is such a great quality to have. I hope you continue to be patient with yourself and others around you and keep a steady focus on your goals. Believe in yourself and you can do anything. It was always a pleasure to have you in my class. Good luck, Lasya. Please put your hands together to welcome Nidhi Marella. And Mr. T.S. Prakash has this moving message for her. Your aptitude in solving problems in mathematics is admirable. You work with diligence and you are always focused on your work in class. I wish you all the success in life. Coming up next is Sahin Rajiv Gora. <laughs> Ms. Priyo has this beautiful message for you, Sahin. A courteous and soft-spoken person, Sahin, you exude an aura of humility. You are kind and compassionate, always willing to help your friends. You have worked hard to achieve your goals. Continue to refine your skills as you walk along the path of life to make your dreams come true. Aim high because you have the conviction to attain success. Many congratulations on your graduation today and wishing you a fulfilling life ahead. May I invite Mohammad Abdul Jabba onto the stage to receive his certificate. And Mohammad, this is my message for you. Gentle, polite, and courteous. Mohammed, you exhibit all the traits of a gentleman. Listening to you has been so much of a pleasure. Your thoughts are so perfectly sequenced and words so eloquently expressed. You have shown complete dedication with an eye for detail. Quiet, with an intellect keen, you dazzle everyone with your charm. Heartiest congratulations on your graduation, Mohammed. May your life be full of good cheer and may you reach the goals that you hold so dear. Coming up next is Kamlesh Navnita Kumar. And these are the inspiring words from Ms. Mitali. Kamlesh, you possess the rare virtues of kindness and thoughtfulness. It was a delight knowing you over the past few years. Recognize your strengths and overcome any setbacks, powered by determination and hard work. May life always have the best in store for you. Congratulations on your graduation, Kamlesh. Please welcome Ritwik Korkanda Bhatta. Ritwik, Ms. Anita has this wonderful message for you. An outstanding student with excellent math skills. Ritwik, you never cease to impress me with your focused and dedicated approach to whatever you do. Ritwik, the world outside these walls is brimming with a gamut of wonderful opportunities. Chart your own path after deep introspection and let your dreams and passions be your beacon with, which will guide you through every step that you take in your future. Why learn math or indeed anything if you are not using it to make this world a better place to live in? So always use your knowledge and prowess to create a better world around you. May you accomplish all those dreams you have aspired for yourself. Coming up next is Aman Lakshmi Kota. And here is a message from Ms. Urmi. Quiet, soft-spoken and shy, but ever resilient. Aman, you are the sure-footed one and will shine in the future. You are empathetic and always thoughtful in your deeds. You will undoubtedly rise beyond your own expectations and overcome life's limitations. Heartiest congratulations, Aman, and may you find your coveted goal. Please 
please welcome Tanmay Gopal and his homeroom teacher, Miss Sahana, has this thoughtful message for him. You are intelligent, confident, and focused in your chosen subjects. Be grounded, and you shall always walk the path of success with ease. Tanmay, you have this wonderful quality of making everyone comfortable around you, and as your homeroom teacher, I have seen how everyone in the class looks forward to your company. May you earn many more accolades in your life. Heartiest congratulations and best wishes on your graduation. With this, we conclude the A-level certificate distribution ceremony. Many congratulations, dear graduates. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Um, now I request the compares to continue with the proceedings of the event. Over to you, Kritika Norhan. Once again, a hearty congratulations to all our A-level students. We now present to you a vocal performance by the choir of Kandor International School. This will be performed by MSP and the ninth graders.
thank the choir for their gracious vocalization that added to this magnificent evening that we are sure will lead to lifelong memories. Our DP coordinator, Mr. Gaurav Das Sharma, has been a persistent source of support and has mentored every student present here today. So, I now request you to share your thoughts. Good evening to one and all present here. DP students, make some noise. Uh, Fardin, you can do better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the DP graduating batch of 2022. Can we have a round of applause? Let me just take a moment to absorb this site. Full attendance. Ganyo, Yoshita, and Pavan, all three are present. So finally, uh, a physical graduation. While I did enjoy the virtual graduation that happened in the last couple of years, it pales in comparison to the site of bright young graduates decked up in their graduation gowns and caps, ready to take on the world with a proud set of faculty and parents looking upon. You all look so happy today. Rare moment in the life of a DP student. And you should be happy and you should be proud. There is this flower called Cosmos. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're shaped like daisies, and they come in a variety of colors, pink, white, orange, yellow, maroon, and others. But what makes these flowers really special and unique is their resilience. Even in the most adverse and extreme conditions, the cosmos will always find a way to bloom. 
in many ways, I would look at this particular batch of students in the same manner. For a large part of the last two years, conditions were adverse. You started the DP online, and classes remained online for almost the entire duration of the course. I think that in total, we have had maybe around four months, give or take, of physical classes. You, along with the faculty, had to adapt to new methods, not all of which always worked best. You studied in isolation without the support of your peers. You did not see the art room or the stage or the school or the labs till the second year of the DP. And every time things began to look normal, a new wave of COVID hit, disrupting all our plans. And yet, at the end of it all, you have still managed to bloom, successfully navigating a grueling academic course while simultaneously dealing with the impact of a raging global pandemic. In a few months, all of you will be entering into the next phases of your lives, pursuing your dreams in different corners of the world. We have in this batch students pursuing courses in engineering, computer science, biology, economics, law, business, psychology, fashion, art and design, and the performing arts. These students will be traveling all over the world to the US, UK, Canada, Germany, Hong Kong. And of course, there are those who will continue to pursue their higher studies in India. I'm confident that their efforts over the past two years will serve them well in university, and, they will all e and they will each one of them flourish in the careers that they have chosen. I would like to take a moment here and acknowledge the efforts of the faculty and the career counselor, Mr. Sebastian. The success of the students is a testament to your hard work, support, dedication, and patience over the last two years. I would like all the DP faculty and Mr. Sebastian to please stand up. Don't be shy. Some of them are not following instructions. Thank you. Uh, I'm thankful for the physical classes that have taken place in the last few months because it has given, given me a chance to know each one of you a little better. And that is something that I will cherish. I now know that Nivriti likes to read books. I know that Dhwani likes to, th likes to sing. When we were offline, I always thought of Niket as the silent brooding type. That could not be further from the truth. In October last year, I had a revelation. I discovered that Ganya was actually taller than Chaitra. Also in October, I discovered that Fardin could actually speak complete sentences. <laughs> Till that time, his conversations with me were limited to different conversations to different combinations of yes sir, no sir, and not sure sir. <laughs> I discovered a few weeks back that Ghani and Yoshita could put up killer performances on the stage. I now know that Jacinta can dream up a mural and execute it. And that Sanchita will one day set the fashion world on fire. Next, purely on popular demand, I have a separate paragraph dedicated just to Tarun. Tarun, thank you for demonstrating to all of us that eating can be considered as an art form, which requires skill, dedication, and patience. I will miss watching you eat breakfast and lunch. It was one of those things I used to look forward to every day. I would also like to thank you for adding excitement to our lives, most notably Miss Mitali's. <laughs> Over the last two years, you have unlocked in Miss Mitali a range of emotions that I cannot do justice with mere words. 
As teachers, we always look to learn from our students and be inspired by them. On that note, if my speech sounds a little rushed, it's because I've taken inspiration from my students and started to write it only around 9 a.m. today morning. Some of the students look confused. They're probably thinking 11 a.m. would have been a better time. I'm still learning. One day I will achieve mastery just like you. Arav, you have ruined the game of cricket for both me and Mr. Prakash. Pawan, what can I say? You add color to our lives. And I'm sure coming generations will remember your phrase, sir, I'm almost done. On a more serious note, as I reflect back on our journey together, I must admit that things have gone pretty smoothly. Sure, there were some difficulties. Your cameras were off most of the time. Attendance was a little bit of an issue. Your grades kept fluctuating. And you missed all your deadlines. But apart from that, everything went according to plan. One of the things that I have cherished watching in the last few months is the strong bond that this batch of students have among each other and the way that they have always supported each other. All of you will now go your separate ways, but you should always cherish this friendship. Real friends are hard to come by and it becomes more and more difficult as we grow older. So stay in touch. Even if it is difficult, it's worth the effort. Many of you will be moving to different countries. And along with following your passion, you will also experience new cultures, learn about them, absorb new knowledge, gather new experiences, have fun. At the same time, remember that each one of you are special and unique in your own way. You should never have to change who you are in order to fit in. On that note, I would like to once again congratulate all of you on your achievements. I think I speak for all of my teachers when I say that it was a pleasure to have you in our classes. Most of the time. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind and heartfelt words. It is now time to celebrate the well-deserved success of our multifaceted class of IBDP graduates, once again accompanied by warm wishes from their loving teachers as they receive their diplomas. We would now like to call upon Ms. Ritwika to read out the personalized messages for the graduating batch of our DP2 graduates. We also request our Director of Curriculum, Ms. Madhavi Reddy, and Ms. Kavita Sinha, our principal, to come up to the stage to distribute the certificates. Congratulations, our very own and very dear DP students. I'm really happy and honored to read out these lovely messages on behalf of all your teachers. You are indeed resilient soldiers, trudging along and never giving up. Please clap for yourselves once, all of you. The first one in line, I now call upon stage Kritya, Kritya Ayengar. Kritya, here's what Ms. Shivali has to say to you. Very few of us know that Kritya possesses a professional flying license, is a national level athlete, 
and an enthusiastic basketball player. Kritya, your quiet humility paired with your strong-willed personality is your forte. Never lose it. We wish you all the success and cheer ahead. Stay humble, stay happy, stay you. War Courage A. Born Shonse. Coming up next is Yoshita Reddy. Yoshita, I shall read out Ms. Indrani's message for you. Dear Yoshita, you've been a constant for me in Canada from the time you had decided to pursue theater in grade nine and continue it further in IVDP. I have seen you in your highs and lows, getting emotionally swayed and then coming back to focus, facing your agreements and disagreements with equanimity. Today, I see in you a strong, mature, and independent individual who is not afraid to take risks. May you achieve success, happiness, and contentment in everything you do, and retain your inherent selfless and kind disposition. Next in line is our very own Dhvani Bagrecha. <laughs> Reading out Ms. Sakshi's message for her. Congratulations, dearest Dhvani. It has been tremendous joy teaching you. From singing and petitioning for World Suicide Prevention Day to scouting cycling trails in Bangalore and microscopically analyzing human behavior through the lens of Bollywood movies in psychology class, the experiences are ones I will cherish. You and your wingman, Sir Astro, will be missed. I hope your voice reaches the farthest recesses of the world. I now welcome Aryan Vipradas. And for Aryan, Ms. Reshma wishes to say these words. Dear Aryan, if there is anything I'm proud of with regards to how far you have come in your journey since you started out in the diploma program, it is about how consistently hardworking, sincere, focused, and resilient you have been. Know that a river cuts through a rock not because of its power, but its perseverance. It is with this faith in your abilities to push through the challenges that I wish you the very best for the next phase of your life. Good luck. Coming up next is Anjali Bogaram. Anjali, Ms. Sakshi has this special message for you as she addresses you as the bubbliest girl who dreams of following the untrodden path. She says, I wish you all things beautiful. I do hope you follow your dream of becoming a perfumer. You were born to lead. You took charge and spearheaded the Bani Adam campaign on World Suicide Prevention Day. Bravo. Here's to you, shining brighter than bright and forging forward full steam ahead. Yours is the earth and everything in it. Next, I call upon stage Nivriti Arora. Nivriti, here is what I have to say for you. Congratulations, dear Nivriti. Working with you and getting to know you has been such a pleasure. You are an extremely diligent and focused student. Your adherence to deadlines and openness to feedback are att attributes that will carry you far. Your infectious laughter is something I will miss dearly. And so, I wish you an adventurous journey ahead. Throw off your bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sail, explore, dream, discover. Here comes our very special Olivia Chatterjee. And Ms. Triveni wishes Olivia well, as she says, Olivia, I'm in awe of your analytical bent of mind, how you love unraveling mysteries and pushing boundaries. You are unconventional and like to march to the beat of your own drum. You are full of whim, vigor, and wit, and incredibly charming. 
Your capacity to bind and build community is immense. You garner a lot of support for those in need of a listening ear in class and embody compassion and empathy for all. Shine bright like a diamond, you resplendent being. Please put your hands together for our Sanchita Chopra. Sanchita, sharing Mr. Shravan's words with you. Congratulations, dear Sanchita. You have an amazing bent of mind to shape your ideas and imagination. We wish you great success and a happy life ahead. Gather all your strengths and hope in whatever you want to achieve in your life and live to the fullest of your abilities. Forget not, keep patience and wish you all the very best. Can we now give a loud round of applause for Kriti Raghavan? <laughs> Dear Kriti, Ms. Priyo would like to share her thoughts with you. Congratulations, dear Kriti, on this special day. It was a pleasure to be your teacher and see you grow as a learner and as a person over the last two years. You've made your way through challenges of all kinds and proven your capabilities time and again through hard work and determination. Continue to nurture your leadership qualities that were so evident to the school community, be it as the head girl or the secretary general of Canman. Your graduation does not mark the end of your journey in Canada, but only opens up gates forever as an alumnus of the school that you've been a part of for the last eight years. May you have an exciting journey ahead full of opportunities. Shine bright. <laughs> Next, I call upon stage our very own and bright Chaitra Reddy Barkam. <laughs> Chaitra, these are Ms. Shagun's delightful words for you. It is hard to overstate the wonderful con contributions that Chaitra has made to our school. As a biology teacher for the past four years, I've had the pleasure of witnessing Chaitra's involvement both in and out of the classroom. She's a goal-oriented, intelligent, vibrant girl with extreme confidence and leadership skills. For Chaitra, it is not an end, but a commencement, a beginning where you carry forward not just the knowledge and skills you've acquired, but also a value system that becomes the beacon and guides you through every step. May you be able to realize all your ambitions. Coming up next on stage is Arav Shaurya. <laughs> Ms. Sandy shares her thoughts for Arav with these moving words. Dear Arav, with immense pride, I congratulate you. I know you will go out into the world with confidence in your abilities to create and shape the world you encounter. I have faith that you will bring about great changes in the world and I wish you the best of luck. It is now time to welcome our beloved Jacinta Bell. <laughs> Dear Jacinta, our very creative Mr. Vasu has these words to say about his very creative student. Congratulations, Jacinta. You have great imagination and talent in visual arts. Always keep your spirits high. Your future shall bring in great opportunities ahead and bless you with a happy and prosperous career. We wish you all the success. Next, we have in line Aryan Kumar. Aryan, I'm sure you'll be delighted to hear what Miss Sandy has to say to you. Congratulations, Aryan. As you cherish the fruits of your hard work, 
I wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do. Pursue your dreams, believe in yourself, live with passion and keep reaching for the stars. I am sure you will achieve the very best in life. I now welcome the talented Ghania Dinesh, for whom we have Miss Anjali's message. Dear Ghania, it was an absolute delight to have you in my class for the last three years. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the window of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. Congratulations on your graduation, Ghania. Please put your hands together and you better be loud for our Pavan N. Reddy. <laughs> Pavan, this is what Mr. Debarko has to say about you. Dear Pavan, Hearty congratulations on your graduation. This must be a proud moment for you. Well done. Now it's more about you taking initiatives and decisions, and I believe your alma mater has shaped you to evolve into a mature individual. Like the football you play, life is a teamwork of the values and qualities you possess. I wish you all the best in your endeavors and I wish you happiness and peace. And with this, I now have the pleasure, the immense pleasure, to call upon stage Tarun Ganesh. Tarun, and here comes a very special and very well thought about message from Ms. Mitali. She took a long time to write this. Great things can be achieved through endeavor and spirit. As you commence on a new phase of the journey called life, here's wishing you that your path ahead is guided by the lamps of compassion, courage, sincerity, and honest hard work. Unravel the powerhouse that resides within. Congratulations on your graduation. Could we have now a loud round of applause for Niket Surapanini? <laughs> now, here's what Ms. Archana has to say about you. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement, dear Niket. We wish you continued success and happiness in all you do. We know how hard you've worked throughout your time at Kanda, and we are so proud of you. We wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do. Dream new dreams, discover who you are, embrace life with passion, and keep reaching for the stars. Shine on and go for it. Hearty congratulations. And I can't stop listening to Kritika, who's giggling off stage. I now welcome the tallest of the lot. Mr. Mahesh Mandava on stage. <laughs> Ms. Manjula's words for Mahesh would definitely cheer him up. Dear Mahesh, I'm so happy to share the excitement of your graduation and so proud of you. It took a lot of hard work to reach this goal. You showed up every day, whether you felt like it or not. I hope you feel great about what you've accomplished with with little physical interaction and a lot of screen time, you've shown resilience and always been compassionate about your work so that you could meet all the expectations. Always remember, your life is your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey you will fulfill with your own potential. Good luck and congratulations. Best wishes for your next adventure. Coming up next is Ayush Kamath. Can we have a loud round of applause for him? Miss Christina wishes Ayush on his graduation.
Congratulations on your graduation, Ayush. Looking back, these past five years have gone by in an instant. Sometimes we never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. The Kanda family has seen you grow into a mature, hardworking youngster who's not afraid of taking risks. One of the most important things in a student's life is to live it with integrity and to not give in to peer pressure, to try to be something that you are not. I think you have done that beautifully. Go confidently in the directions of your dreams, live the life you've imagined, and best wishes for your next adventure. Buena suerte. Joining us on the stage is Fardeen Ashraf. That is indeed louder than ever Fardeen has spoken. Fardeen, here is Ms. Susan's moving message for you. Congratulations on your achievement, Fardeen. You've been focused and consistent when it comes to achieving your goals, so keep up the good work. This is a huge step towards your future, and I can't wait to see the magic it will unfurl. Wishing that brighter opportunities come your way and you achieve success in all of them. Um, this final message is for Anha, who's in Bangladesh and couldn't join us for the ceremony. This beautiful message for Anha is from Ms. Archana. Dear Radha, you've worked hard to achieve this milestone. This pandemic has been hard, but think of all the stories you have to share later. Studying and graduating during the great pandemic of 2020-22. Warmest wishes for personal and professional happiness and success. And with this, we conclude the DP Diploma and Certificate Distribution Ceremony. Many congratulations to all of you the shining stars of Kandor International School. Once again, a hearty congratulations to all of our IBDP students. Today, we are truly filled with joy to celebrate the achievements of our students and to recognize the grit through an expressive dance performance by Anushka Rao of IB1. This dedication to Venkateshwara invokes happiness and success.
Thank you, Anushka, for that splendid performance. Kandorians are learners who know no bounds and are not limited by their textbooks and have fully enriched themselves in the true meaning of education. We take this evening forward with a set of awards, recognizing the growth of our students, not only academically, but also as holistic learners. We now call upon our director of curriculum, Ms. Madhavi Reddy, and our respected principal, Ms. Kavita Sinha, to kindly come up on the stage to distribute the A-level awards. Our Cambridge coordinator, Ms. Anjana, will announce the Cambridge Awards. First is the Learner Attributes in Action Award. The award is presented to a student who so showcases the five attributes of the Cambridge Learner Profile. Confident, responsible, reflective, innovative, and engaged. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Nidhi Marela for demonstrating these attributes <laughs> consistently throughout the year. Congratulations. Please come up on stage to receive your award. Now, on to our next award, which is the Academic and Life Skills Award. This award is presented to a student who has demonstrated extraordinary commitment to acquire knowledge, thereby improving herself to the best of her ability, and it goes to Harini Gautamal. Congratulations. Please come up on stage to see your award. Finally, we are pleased to announce the year's valedictorian award for the Cambridge program. 
a true valedictorian sets a positive example for their peers. This individual inspires with his zeal to excel in academics and beyond. We now bring forward the class of 2022 A-level valedictorian, Ritwik Bhattar. He has displayed passion as well as remarkable perseverance in reaching this landmark. Ritwik, you now have the floor. Hello everyone. I am, I am, I am, I am honored. I, I am honored to be standing here today as the valedictorian of the of the A level batch of 2022. I would like to start off by expressing my heartfelt gratitude to our principal, Ms. Kavita, and our Cambridge A level coordinator, Ms. Anjana. Thank you, Ms. Kavita, for always being open to our ideas and initiatives, such as the STEAM Club, and for, and for supporting those, which, which helped us build confidence in ourselves. Ms. Anjana, thank you for motivating us to do our best in academics by training with, with ice cream and for, and for always keeping us up to date, especially when exams were canceled. I still remember the first day when I joined Candor in the middle of grade seven and I am very grateful to all my teachers for helping me adjust to the change in curriculum and for helping me reach this milestone, especially with the shift to online school during the pandemic, where our teachers had to tolerate our, our never-ending excuses about our cameras and mics not working, and how most of us, like Tanmay, would, would conveniently lose our internet connection when, whenever the teachers ask the question. I would also like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the teachers who have helped shape me into, into who I am today. I would especially like to thank Ms. Hanna, our home teacher, for always being there whenever we had any questions. I discovered my passion for mathematics when I saw the passion with, with which Mr. Prakash and Ms. And Ms. Anita taught us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Miss Me Too. Thank you for bearing with my terrible handwriting. Miss Shalini for always enduring my irrelevant questions and for ensuring that I understand every concept. Miss Mitali for mastering the art of making us completely prepared for the, for the toughest physics questions that can come by taking one hour to explain each problem. Mr. Sebastian for, su for, for supporting me throughout, throughout the college application process and for making me make some of the most important decisions about my future. My family has been my, my pillar of strength throughout my journey, and, and without their constant support and encouragement, I, I wouldn't ha have been able to achieve all that I have today. I also want to take this opportunity to commend my fellow peers for successfully overcoming the, chal the challenging course load that we had during online school. Finally, even though we may not see each other properly again, as, as the next time we meet is during boards, I would like to congratulate the class of 2022 of Candor International School for successfully make, making it this far in a crucial phase of our lives. And I wish you all the best to ace these upcoming board exams. I hope that each and every one of you succeeds in, in whatever path you take and will be preparing for life the, the, the right way. Thank you. Thank you, Ritwik, for that heartfelt speech and those inspiring words. We will now commence the award ceremony for our DP2 students. We request our chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, to join our principal, Ms. Kavita Sinha, in giving the awards away to the deserving winners. We request Mr. Gaurav, our DP coordinator, to announce the awards.
we shall begin with the learner profile in action award this award is presented to an ib learner who portrays the qualities of being an inquirer thinker and communicator along with displaying extraordinary knowledge this individual is principled open minded caring and a balanced and reflective risk taker put your hands together for chaitra reddy barkam for having displayed this learner profile attributes consistently throughout the diploma program The next category is the award for knowledge research self and community. This award is given to a student for their exceptional engagement in the diploma core components, the theory of knowledge, extended essay and cas which stands for creativity activity and service. Let us all congratulate Sanchita Chopra as the recipient of the award. for knowledge research self and community Lastly it is my extreme pleasure to announce this year's valedictorian award for the IB diploma program a true valedictorian acts as a role model for their peers thus setting new boundaries in excellence motivating others through his or her inspiring endeavors this award goes to niket surapaneni who has never failed to keep himself motivated as evident through his immense will power and dedication let us now allow ourselves to hear the words of niket who will take over the stage uh, thank you very much good evening to all teachers parents administration and fellow graduates present here today I am honored to accept this award and represent my classmates and friends on such a momentous day. During my time at Candor, I've had a range of experiences and the only way I know how to encapsulate my time here is by sharing a few. I remember the first day I saw the school, being intimidated by its size and all the people I wasn't very familiar with. In particular, my weird handshake interaction with my now good friend Sidhu is an event that remains with me. I remember sitting in a circle with my classmates in Miss Gosh's class, preparing and practicing our lines for my first ever assembly in 8th grade with one of the most bizarre but memorable skits I'll ever be a part of. I remember stomping out spiders and braving fatiguing treks on my first class excursion. enjoying the endless amount of jokes we made during our overnight stay in the wilderness and the never-ending conversations our class had on the bus ride back to school i remember art classes 
where we would all sit outside and talk about the most random things while sketching shoes and everything in between to the dismay of the art teacher. I remember doing everything from passing messages and retrieving trophies to playing basketball and cheering friends on in the Aegon Cup despite a downpour of rain and all sorts of confusion. I remember bugging every single person in my life at least once about college, especially my sister and my family, with things about the SAT and stressing about deadlines and essays bundled with the workload of IB. I apologize now for that. However, thinking back right now, a memory I constantly reminisce upon is a conversation with my dad after we had moved to India. He said, show me and everybody else that I didn't make a mistake in moving us to Bangalore. At the time, it felt like and may have been an illusion to working hard and even induced a bit of pressure on me, but I'm thankful for it now. Succeeding in making unforgettable memories with classmates, peers, as well as teachers and a plethora of people has shaped me into the person I am today and has shaped us as the class of 2022 into the people we strive to be in the future. As we step into this new world of independence after high school, we will constantly encounter challenges that make us question our strength, our wit, and our confidence. Nevertheless, I'm at ease knowing that we all carry with us, seared into our minds, impactful experiences that will guide us through all of these obstacles. So I stand here now to confidently address my dad's request. Nana, you made no mistakes in the move here. If anything, these five years of my life at Kandor are a testament to the fact that this has been one of the greatest decisions you've ever made. And I'm thankful every single day that I get to see, meet, talk, and laugh with the amazing people in my life here. I'd like to thank my sister Kriti, my, my dad, my mom, and all of my extended family as well, as well as my closest friends, Tharun, Abi, Sidhu. It feels like midnight vlogs and all of our sleepovers were yesterday. It's crazy to think we're all graduating now. Additionally, all of my teachers, Mr. Prakash, thank you for bearing with me and all of us in ADMATH with an almost superhuman calmness. Ms. Mithali, I'll always enjoy making jokes back and forth with you in physics class. Ms. Reshma, my time as Nacho Sosa in your class has finally come to an end, and that's something I'm a little sad about. Miss Sandy, the extended essay process is thankfully and finally over, but I'm gonna miss our time discussing it together. Miss Ritvika, coming to your English class always felt like an escape from the day, and it is something I will never forget. Miss Sakshi, I'll miss discussing anything from random world issues to food in your class. Mr. Garov, it'll feel weird eating lunch for a little too long in college and not seeing you staring daggers at all of us. And finally, Ms. Archana, chemistry is a subject that my whole career will revolve around and I would be remiss not to say that you strongly contributed to that. I think Chaitra put it best, you're like my second mom in school, so make sure to keep your phone on because I'm prepared to ask you many more questions in college along with tons of thanks to all of my past teachers. Ms. Shivali, French is something I will never be good at, but without the time spent in your classes, my school life would feel incomplete. Ms. Mithu, I won't forget the Shakespeare project or the ads you had us make, and for those experiences, I'm thankful. And Ms. Somya, it still feels weird not being in bio class anymore after all the memories we made. And as much as I despise checking those payments for the can one, I can't wait to get Corner House sometime now as a reward. I'd like to thank everyone in my class, the Aryans, Kriti, Mahesh Chaitra, Arab, Pardeen, and everybody for being the perfect peers during my time in Kandor. If I said all the names, we'd be here too long. I'm grateful to the senior management team, our principal, Ms. Kavita, our dean, Mr. Sridhar, Ms. Madhavi, Mr. Naresh, and our chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, for this opportunity. Finally, I'd also like to thank all the support staff housekeeping, transport, security, and kitchen staff who have helped us constantly throughout our stay in Kandor over these past few years. Thank you.
Congratulations, Niket, and thank you for that heartfelt speech and those inspiring words. We now request our principal to announce the winner of the Socket Award. Good evening. The Saket Award is a special award which has been instituted to honor a student who embodies the precious qualities of a well-rounded individual. I request our chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, and our director curriculum, Ms. Madhvi Reddy, to kindly distribute this award. Kindly come on the stage. I request our director of operation, Mr. Naresh, also to come on the stage. And now the winner, with attributes which include being sincere in academics, displaying a high involvement with co-curricular activities, being respectful in disposition, and having shown sparks of creativity and innovation. Any guess? Dhwani Bagricha has been selected as the recipient of the Saket Award. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Suresh. Thank you, Ms. Madhvi and Mr. Naresh. Dwani, the stage is yours. Good evening, respected teachers, administrators, parents, and the most extraordinary family that I have got to be a part of, the class of 2022. Someone once told me, you can always turn things around. You have the ability to make the best out of every bad situation. I am extremely grateful and honored to be chosen as the recipient of this award and speak today before all of you and reflect on our collective journey in this school. If I were to think of one word to describe this journey, it would be unprecedented. Unprecedented is defined as never done or known before. And I'm sure all of us have heard this word countless times over the last two years. But here, my intention is to connect this word with all of you. You are unprecedented. We are a high school class that has done something never known before. You see, all of us have had a roller coaster ride from week long quarantines to distance learning, mass classes, to countless pending assignments, and numerous other things. My journey at Candor started off in a rather uncanny manner. It started off with online classes almost two years ago. Despite that, all the teachers and students welcomed me with open arms, making me feel right at home. Having never seen the school, I completed my IB1. When stepping into the gates of Candor and IB2, I realized the true essence of what makes Candor home. With a different change in environment from day one, Candor has welcomed me with, um, with warm smiles. I would like to thank Dr. Suresh Reddy, Ms. Madhavi, and Mr. Naresh for creating the space that I now call home. Mr. Sridhar and Ms. Kavita, you have been our backbone through our journeys at Candor, and I will forever be grateful. Living in such unprecedented times made us cherish the small yet important aspects in life. I would like to thank the entire staff of Candor for their support. 
the cheerful security uncles, bus drivers and helpers that have always ensured that we are safe. The wonderful food staff has always ensured that we are well nourished and put their hearts into cooking food for us. I will really, really miss the aloo puri and rasam rice. Over the years, I have realized that we are an amalgamation of the people we meet and experiences we share. Now, I want to extend my thanks to the people who have guided and paved the way for me, my teachers. I would like to start off with Mr. Gaurav, who is our coordinator as well as my business teacher. You have been so supportive while keeping all of us on track with our submissions. I will miss your anecdotes in class, which have never failed to make me laugh. Next, I would like to thank Miss Sandy, our homeroom teacher, who is honestly so kind and was always ready to lend her ear if we needed help. I would like to thank Ms. Priyo for all the wonderful EE sessions as well as her guidance and enthusiasm throughout Canman. Ms. Reshma, our CAS coordinator, thank you for always motivating us to push beyond our boundaries and try out new things. Mr. Sebastian, thank you for guiding me through the process of college applications. To all the teachers who have taught me this year, I just want to say thank you. Ms. Shagun, Despite struggling in biology, you have believed in me since day one, and that has helped me push out of my own limits. And I n now know more than the fact that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I will miss your classes and the way you taught us biology with ease. A special thanks to Ms. Soumya for all the IA feedback and letting me bug her even during the holidays. Ms. Anjali, thank you for your endless support in Hindi and ensuring that we all did well. Aapka bahut bahut shukriya. Ms. Anita, thank you for your patience and kindness in teaching me all the math concepts and helping me with my IA. Just a fun fact for everyone here today, Ms. Anita learned music theory just to help me with my IA. <laughs> Ms. Anita, I am so grateful for you. Thank you for inspiring me. From realism to social cognitive theory to the big five personality model, Ms. Sakshi has been my TOK teacher, my psychology teacher, as well as my E supervisor, and she has been on this journey with me. Miss, I just want to say thank you for tolerating with me with all of my submissions. You have extended my knowledge and truly inspired me to further pursue psychology. I will miss our endless conversations in your classroom and your cheerful laughter. Coming to the most important people in my life, my parents. Mama, Papa, I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Nana, Nani, Dadi, and Masi for all of your love. My sister, Jeel, thank you for being someone I look up to. To all my friends who have been there for me on this journey, you truly deserve the world. To all of my fellow batchmates who I now consider family, I just want to leave you with some thoughts. The most important aspect of all of this is that we have formed relationships with the people we love, people we care about, and people who have been on this crazy journey along with us the journey of being stressed out over countless deadlines and mock exams. We have learned to foster relationships through these tough times, quite literally finding the meaning behind the saying through thick and thin, at a much younger age than others. This is why I say unprecedented. We were thrown into this thunderstorm of uncertainty and ir ir sorry, irregularities throughout the last two years, but we fought through it in ways we never could have imagined. Every single one of you has a special place in my heart. If there is one sentiment I want you to take away from this speech, it's this. You are all capable of taking on any obstacle that may lie in your life, in any country in the world, at any time of the year. You have all faced a challenging high school experience that has never happened before, and you overcame it and made it worthwhile. Something that I would like to call unprecedented. Thank you. level. Aditya is a distinguished musician who has the, won the prestigious RSL Grade 6 High Achiever Award in the South Indian region. Uh, good evening everybody. Uh, 
today I'll be playing a piece called Mohair Mountain. It's, um, it's a song composed by Joe Bennett. And um, I've composed a solo for this, for this piece. And yeah, it's dedicated to all our seniors today who are graduating. So congratulations, and here it is, Mohair Mountain. Mohair Mountain. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> We thank Aditya Chaudhary for his beautiful performance that added to our lovely evening. Parents, our guiding force and support systems for life, continue to amaze us with their unconditional love, limitless blessings, and constant source of belonging. Today, we'd like to welcome Mr. Gautaman parent of Harini Gautaman from our A-level parent community to share his invaluable experience with our audience. Good 
Planning Chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, Principal Ms. Kavita Sena, teachers, parents, and my dear students. I'm delighted and honored to be with you all today. This is my second graduation ceremony in Canada. First one was five years ago of my sons. And it's been always a pleasure being here. Teachers are the one who lead the student from darkness to light. And Canadians have the privilege of having such teachers. One of the best teachers in the world today, always encouraging and guiding the students. And the teachers at Candace have always put their interests about, the, the students' interests are always about their own interest. Coupled with the management, which has a true vision, not only a vision, a heart towards a holistic approach to education while retaining the values and ethics. Candor is one of the very few schools to successfully strike a balance between academic excellence and pursuit for diverse cultural and social activities. All of his students must be really proud to study and graduate from such an institution that has prepared you for life. After two years of virtual classroom, I'm glad you students are having this personal graduation. We parents are now wondering where all these years have gone as we marvel at our daughters and sons' ac accomplishments. It doesn't seem that long ago when these young adults, which we honor today, are toddling away at a kindergarten. Of course, living through these years from kindergarten to 12th would have been seen eternity to all of you, maybe to some parents as well. Celebrating more than a decade of hard work you have just proven not only your ability to put in the time and effort to complete the humongous amount of schoolwork, but also the emotional resilience to deal with the challenges faced during this pandemic. You may have also accomplished things in extracurricular activities like student politics, sports, academic competitions, the arts, and more. All of these things deserve recognition. Today is the day to celebrate in a way that commemorates not just the school itself, but the journey of your school life. Being fine, young adults, I'm sure you have thanked all your teachers this week, and I would take this opportunity on behalf of all the parents. It's important that we parents also thank them. Thank you, management. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, support staff. And thank you, one and all. Before I end the speech, a little bit of advice. I'm sure you know no one likes unsolicited <laughs> advices, but you know we parents are good at giving them, so we just can't help it. So while well, graduation is all about celebrating the past, it's all about the future too. While well, all of you are looking forward to follow your dreams and achieve your goals, at the same time, it's very important to remember your roots. However, tall as tree may grow, it's very important you are firmly grounded for it's the roots that helps the tree to keep growing. So always remember your roots. Also learn to be aware, being aware of being at the moment, not thinking about the past or the future, but to do, do the things at just the moment, be aware of the moment, be in the now. Be totally aware of everything you do. Just be, being aware, anything is possible where all of your possibilities and potentials are endless. Just being aware will thrust you into the present moment, into now, harnessing your full potential. Students, as you face the world, you should also learn to be more tolerant, more ca caring, for education is not only being academically qualified or acquisition of knowledge and be professionally successful, but being a good human being matters. Thus, one's education should lead to his or her contact and character to be worthy of their learning. That's wisdom and that's complete education. I wish you all the best, class of 22, for graduating, and we look forward to you graduating the college soon. All the best. Thank you. We recognize that, it's, that this truly is a memorable occasion for all the students and teachers in the ceremony. For an expression of these proud emotions, we invite Mr. Raghavan Subramanian, parent of Kriti Raghavan, to be our speaker from the parent community of the DP class of 2022.
Good evening, everyone. Thanks to the school management for asking me to come over and share a few words. I'd like to thank Mr. Suresh, Ms. Madhavi, Naresh, and of course, Mr. Sridhar for inviting me, the principal, uh, to giving me this opportunity. Thanks, and I hope I don't stand too much in the way between a wonderful evening and a nice dinner. But I'll share a few interesting anecdotes that I've had um, as, the, as the parent of two of my daughters who study here, Kriti and Dwani, of course. Uh, firstly, appreciate the management for having an all-year admission policy. That was so crucial for us. We were in one school where suddenly things collapsed and we were schoolless in the middle of an academic year. And to be able to join this school in the middle of the academic year was, was one of very important reasons. And when Ritwik, the valedictorian, spoke in the speech, and if I remembered right, he said he joined it too midway. And, and to see that students who join midway go on to do such wonderful things in life is such a proud moment. So thanks a lot to the school for having this policy and, and allowing us to do this. Back in my schooling days, if my dad came to the school, it was a very nervous moment for me. He could come for sports day or annual day, but any other day, if the parent came to school, I was in deep trouble. But with this school, it was never the case. I have come here several times other than the annual day and the sports day, and, and the school has made us all feel very special and welcome, and, and my daughters don't get nervous that I'm coming to the school. <laughs> so it, it, it kind of created a very, very welcome environment for the parents to come in here and, and be a part of the school. So once again, thanks a lot for that. I remember the very first visit, which was in the year 2015, middle of early 2015, when we, when we came here scouting for the school in January. Various things we saw here, the beautiful tennis court that's been designed by some big shot, uh, and the fantastic swimming pool that they have here, which reminded me of a pool that I had seen in, in one of my US visits, Randolph Hearst, if any one of you have been to that, that place. Fantastic swimming pool, and I was like, wow, great place to provide schooling in, uh, for my children. But what struck me the most on that day was the play area where it was, uh, now I see that more and more, but at that time this was, this was probably a pioneering thing. The play area had a nice little soft flooring. So even if the children fell down from, that, from the play area while playing, it had been taken care of. So that level of thoughtfulness went into making sure that this environment was very, very, of course, meeting the, the, the staff, meeting the management. Uh, at that time, the principal was Mr. Uh, Swamik Ghosh. All of that played a huge role uh, in, in uh, allowing us into this day. We're very proud that we uh, put our children in the school because our children grew here. They, they evolved, they came in as something, but they have evolved, they discovered a lot of those things. Kriti, for example, several opportunities. Uh, she goes out as a head girl, very proud of that. Uh, organized the Canman, of course. Uh, took, her, took her music exam in Trinity College music exam here again, uh, while she is a Carnatic student. And, and discovered her roots uh, in Carnatic and, and gave her concert and it was very nice of the school management, Mr. Sridhar and Mr. Naresh to come in for that inaugural concert, the Arangetram as we call it, and, and grace the occasion and, and tell Kriti how important it was from the school side also. Once again, thanks a lot for all of that. The younger daughter suddenly discovered she is also academically inclined, so she, is, she, is, she surprised herself with her performance recently, so she is coming to terms with that and I hope that, that she'll also do a, a good name of the, of the school. I've had wonderful uh, interactions with several of the people, but I'll highlight just a couple of them. Uh, back four or five years back, I used to come to the school more frequently and actively involved in, in sessions and, and all of that. And Mr. Sridhar would remember that, of course. Uh, maybe I should revive that. The pandemic and all of these things have thrown a little bit of that into this disarray. But I remember coming here and, and uh, Prakash, the math teacher, such a wonderful guy, very, very deceptively simple looking person, but deep down there is so much of fantastic popular math that's inside this man. To this day, uh, one of the anecdotes that he shared about an infinity bus, and if anybody, anyone is interested, it's too long for this session, you should search up for uh, the infinity hotel uh, in YouTube. Uh, or you should just ask the man himself to talk about it. It's a wonderful way to understand the concept of infinity from one of the best mathematics minds that I've talked to. Or Tanvi, who used to be here as the economic teacher, another powerhouse, 
or more recently for my younger daughter when we had the parent teachers meeting was talking to uh Sminakshi from the global who handles global perspective we were we were having a wonderful discussion about how even in our house a fight happens the younger one would come and report the fight or the elder one would come and report the fight and it's a natural tendency for us to believe the account that's been told by the first person and and global perspective teaches us wait there is a second side to the story hang on wait for that and then come to your conclusion as to who is the culprit to this day i find it very difficult to practice that coming to the the graduation part of it it had its moments uh, we all know about the paradox of choice in our time the stress was of a different type we had to most of us probably our children of 18 and of years so I, i would imagine most of us are in the same age group for us we had to prepare and and get an admission into a professional college uh, fortunately we have built a generation where uh, children have big broader choice but the same paradox of choice also brings in uh, uh, its own uh, complications with it its own difficulties associated with it i'm i'm glad that uh, we are able to go through that uh, phase in a nice manner and come out unscathed out of it some of the best moments that i've had in my school have come through the college excursions and it's no different from here in this school also so uh, i remember one excursion where all the all of the students went to delhi if i if i remember why uh, rajasthan delhi bharatpur and all of this one of the best experiences and and you're going to take friends and and your teachers as lifelong relationships uh, that that you're going to cherish cherish forever you know it's not just going to be uh, for the school days alone we we who finished school in 1990 thanks to whatsapp email and all of that slowly discovered we now have a 100 percent attendance inside our uh, whatsapp school group and and if our generation could do this uh, i can't imagine what this generation will do with all the relationships that are that are happening from here but i'll conclude with uh, just this thought and once again thank everybody with this opportunity i was told i have to speak this afternoon and i thought i'll come and wing it and didn't even prepare but while sitting there i was also a little worried what if i don't have a points so jotted down a few points at least last minute preparation mr gaurav wherever you are so i'm beating you and your valedictorian in making this very last minute preparation and trying to do the best that i can once again thanks a lot for providing this opportunity and have a wonderful evening congratulations to the graduates it was a pleasure to hear from you sir we would now respect our respected principal ms kavita sinha to address the students Good evening Dr Suresh Reddy our chairman Director curriculum is Madhvi Reddy Director operation Mr Naresh Reddy Dean administration Mr Sridhar staff parents and stars of tonight the class of 2022 Parents today you must be remembering the bundle of joy which came in your life 17 18 years back This bundle of joy has transformed into a mature confident individual shaped by you and the teachers together together you have made it as partners in education these candorians true to the motto of the alma mater are now ready for life that is preparing for life the theme of the graduation ceremony roads to resilience is apt for the class of 2022 it is nurtured by the collective support of each other and found that, that the class of 2022 truly lives in the spirit of sharing and caring and i have been watching this in the my past 11 months being with them floating down the river of time each one of us will meet our own set of obstacles hurdles and difficulties how we overcome them or deal with them is based on our resilience it requires wisdom and courage 
foresight and willpower. You are already resilient, as you have displayed that the past did not deter you, adversities did not scare you, and like the water, you have its way through cracks. You have been assertive, adjusted to the rigorous demand of the curriculum, the never-ending assignments, A-level students, of your teachers, the extended essays, TOKs, IAs, CAS, personal statement, resume, college app essays. You did it all. Huge round of applause. Not to forget, this batch is leaving behind the legacy of Candor TEDx event. Prodigium, a STEAM event, taking Canman to greater height, collaboration with, with students of a school in Indonesia. All that comes to you, the batch of 2022. It's not easy to balance academics with all other aspects of holistic education. You adapted to changes and embraced the new learning platform seamlessly. This reminds me of a short story. There was this farmer with his donkey, and the donkey was very old, weary, and he fell into a well. He wanted to pull the donkey out, and he called on to the neighbors. The neighbors tried, but to their vain. They just couldn't pull the donkey. They all grabbed a shovel and began to shovel dirt into the well because they decided among themselves, this is going to be his last. This donkey cannot come up. Let's put the mud on him. At first, the donkey realized what was happening and cried horribly. Then to everyone's amazement, he quietened down. A few shovels load later, the farmer finally looked down the well. He was astonished at what he saw. With each shovel of dirt that hit his back, the donkey was doing something amazing. He would shake it off and take a step up. As the farmer's neighbor continued to shovel dirt on top of the animal, he would shake it off and take a step up. Pretty soon, everyone was amazed as the donkey stepped up over the edge of the well and happily trotted off. Life is going to shovel dirt on you, all kinds of dirt. The trick to getting out of the well is to shake it off and take a step up. Each of our troubles is a stepping stone. We can get out of the deepest well by just not stopping. Never give up. You are true Candorians. Shake it off and take a step up. Ten years from now, none of you will remember the Academy performance. Whatever is done is dusted. What will you remember? The buggy ride with your coordinators. What will you remember? Intensive revision put by the principal, and then a little chocolate break time. What will you remember? Trying to negotiate your way into how we can bunk one or two class here and there. That's what you need to remember, not your academic performance. We would always be waiting to hear your success stories. Here, we will be waiting. Your teachers will love to learn about your achievements. So be connected with your alma mater and spread your wings and conquer the world. In this pursuit of your success story, just remember a small advice from your principal. Be a tree which is full of humility, which provides shades and fruits. And in the words of Kabir, with many of you do not understand Hindi, but still I'll try my luck. Bada hua to kya hua, jaise per babul, panchi ko chaya nahi, fal lage ati dur. Do not be that. Don't be a babul tree. Be a banyan tree. Be a mango tree. Be a peach tree. Different colors. And give your shades and give your love to the needy and everyone. We have prepared you to fly. 
thank your families, thank your teachers, and go ahead and remember the early years, kindergarten teachers, they deserve, they deserve a small remembrance from you today. Quietly sit aside and thank them. Congratulations to each one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. We wholeheartedly appreciate your meaningful words. It is now time for the lamp distribution ceremony. Let these lamps reflect the resilient spirit of our graduates. We would now like to invite the coordinators, Mr. Gaurab and Ms. Anjana, to transfer the light of knowledge to the students who will disseminate the illumination into the world.
can we please request our seniors to perform in what has now become their alma mater for one last time. I'm sure this will go down in the history of Candor and will live on in our memories forever. We now witness our graduates preparing themselves for their last performance in their alma mater. Song, yeah. I got a lump in my throat, cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. 
Thank you, class of 2022. That was moving and beautiful. We now request Mr. Prakash to join us on the stage to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening once again. On behalf of everyone present here, I would take this opportunity to wish our graduating students a bright future. I wish to express my sincere gratitude to all the people responsible for the success of this show. To begin with, the senior management team comprising of Dr. Suresh Reddy, Director Curriculum, Ms. Madhvi Reddy. Director Operation, Mr. Naresh Reddy. Principal, Ms. Kavita Sina. The Dean, Mr. Sridhar. Dear parents, your presence uh, is deeply appreciated. The words of Mr. Gautaman and uh, Mr. Raghavan uh, is, was very encouraging to us. And thank you for sharing your thoughts. Uh, the show wouldn't have been possible without the able guidance of uh, our DP coordinator, Mr. Gaurav, Cambridge coordinator, Ms. Anita, Ms. Anjana Sina, sorry, Ms. Anjana Gupta, homeroom teachers and subject teachers, human resource manager, Mr. Giddin, senior administrative officer, Mr. Ashok Hegde and his team, IT systems administrator, Mr. Jomi Alexander, and ABD supported by Mr. Zandu. Mr. Suzanne of the stores in charge, Mr. Vasu and Mr. Shavan for the artwork, Mr. Calvin along with the school choir team, the dance team from grade eight who choreographed the performance all by themselves, solo performances by Anushka and Aditya Chaudhary, that's very greatly appreciated, creatoring head, Mr. Ramchandra, our compares, Kritika and Orhan, and all our student volunteers, front desk, the marketing team, and last but not, our, not the least, the support staff. So I take this opportunity to thank you, each one of you. Um, good night and have a refreshing Easter break. Thank you. We now entreat everyone to stand in honor of our national anthem. Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Uttkala, Vanga, Vindya, Himachala, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchala, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Mage, Gahe, Tava, Jaya, Gatha, Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vibhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He We request everyone to be seated. We now request the parents to remain seated while our graduates proceed with their recessional march.
The graduates will join us shortly for their photograph, doffing of the cap, and the cake cutting. Congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone that you're in love with me. Congratulations and jubilations. I want the world to know I'm happy as can be. Who would believe that I could be happy and contented? I used to think the happiness hadn't been invented. But that was in the bad old days before I met you. When I let you walk into my heart. Congratulations and celebrations. When I tell everyone that you're in love with me. Congratulations and jubilations.
now we have a now we have an action replay of a special moment the doffing of the cap जब नोट है भाई ये देखो गेमिंग फीस पंद्रह सौ रुपये ये पबजी जब से बंद हुआ तब से ऐड किया होगा ना मैच Thank you so much. It has been a delightful evening. We now request the parents to kindly join us for dinner. We request the parents to join us for dinner. 